Welcome back everybody, I've got a few updates on the GUI minigame. Let's start by looking at the assignment objectives. We need to work with variables, operators, and expressions in C-sharp, write some procedures in uh, C-sharp, they use control structures such as conditionals and loops, identify the basic differences between value types and reference types, work with numeric, alphanumeric, and array types, and write GUI applications with multiple uh, GUI components. And then lastly, we need to look at functions, write the results to a file, and add a random number generator to use in one of the function calculations. So let's take a look at the code. The code utilizes various variables, booleans, integers, and this is for controlling the player movements and game states. It also employs arithmetic operators to update the player position and implement game mechanics. They also write some procedures uh, such as conditionals and loops. The code includes procedures uh, such as the uh, main game timer and shoot that use the conditional statements if else and loops for each to control the game's behavior uh, to check collisions and handle any player actions. We identify basic differences between value types and reference types. The, the code demonstrates the difference between the value types such as integers and booleans and the reference types such as picture box objects in C sharp. So it uses both types appropriately throughout the game. Code also uses numeric types for various properties and calculations such as the player position and scores. It also handles picture box objects representing alphanumeric data to control game elements. Additionally, it utilizes arrays uh, such as the collected coins per level to store the score for each level. Code also implements a graphical user interface for the game using Windows Forms. It includes multiple components such as picture box, labels, and timers, and this to create the game environment and user interaction. Code contains various functions such as shoot, randomized cloud position, and methods within the climbing controller class. This doesn't work at the moment, uh, but I am working on it to encapsulate specific behaviors and improve code organization. Code also includes an update score and save function, uh, which writes the player score for each level to a text file. It saves the collected coins per level into a specified file, which in this case is a text file. Although there is no explicit random number generation in the code provided, clouds you see in the game are randomly placed in the background uh, and float across the screen. So the, the random positioning uh, is, a, is a form of randomization. So overall, the code demonstrates the effective use of C-sharp features and programming techniques to provide the uh, gameplay with the GUI components. It allows players to move, jump, collect coins, fire bullets, uh, eventually climb ladders, and progress through the levels while saving the scores to a file. All right, so let's jump into the fun part. So the title screen is still uh, the same as what we saw in the last video, and what I added was a story form that gives a basic intro uh, to what is going on in the game. And as you can see, there are clouds that uh, randomly float across the screen. They kind of start in random positions and, and float across uh, right to left. And you it might be a little difficult to see, but you can see that the little character is firing uh, projectiles right and left, whichever direction you're facing. I jump up, grab the flag. You can see a ladder, but the ladder isn't functional at, at the moment. I grab the coin and I run to the flagpole. And then it tells you you've completed the level and how many coins that you've collected. And then it takes you to level two. I demonstrate that the quit button works restart the game. I demonstrate that the skip button works. And then this time I grab the flag, run directly to the flagpole. I have zero coins, takes me to level two. And I show the uh, output of the player score to a text file. And then I replay the same level. Uh, it's sped up a little bit, uh, the video, not the game itself. Um, but I jump up, I grab a coin, run back to the flagpole, it says I have one coin, and then I show that the output to the text file uh, has been updated. So that's about it. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and I'll see you all next time.